Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mulroy Bay, where you can see I have cleared up the bales and moved them out of the beach, out of the uh, silage bunker. I've stacked them up quite nicely and neatly, because that's... I d I know Sean Blaylock was saying, oh your bale stacking leaves a lot to be desired. That was just storage. This is, this is stacking. I was kind of in a rush and I wanted to talk about some stuff. Um, so today we are going to be doing some selling of crops, if I can remember where on earth I put the shovel for this thing. Um, that could be a fun little endeavor, because I, I honestly can't remember. Why am I using keyboard? <laughs> uh, I've been playing off screen and I've been kind of swapping randomly between... Ah, oh, there's the shovel. I've been swapping randomly between uh, keyboard and not keyboard <laughs> and steering wheel so uh, I it does get a bit funky at times let's detach that yes I do have manual attaching in uh, it's actually a really nice mod and yes you can detach the old fashioned way where you can just press the button but there's a part there's something about getting out of the tractor to detach is, is nice so, on to the meat of today's video. I mentioned in the Mod Spotlight over the weekend that I had a few things to say today. And despite the fact that it's a few days later for me in real life, um, I do still remember what I wanted to say because it is something that I feel quite strongly about. And that is that Giants have announced kind of unofficially in kind of a, it was either a press conference or an email from somebody they replied to um, I'm not too sure of the details but they have confirmed they're going to be using the same engine for FS17 um, no that's no this engine is fine yes it's fine it works but it's a very heavily ver edited version of the FS2011 engine. Just just let that sink in. This engine is five years old now. And yes, it's heavily edited to, you know, allow for better graphics and whatever, but the base functionality is five years old. Possibly older, because it could be the FS09 engine as well. But Like, my own feelings aside, because I have said, I want Giants to use a new engine, this one's, it works, but it is old. And there's a lot of stuff they could do with a new engine. Um, really, it... I think it shows one of two things. One is that, one potential... Uh, thing that it shows is that Giants just don't have the capacity to create a new engine, which is possible. They don't. They might not have the knowledge or ability, um, which I wouldn't rule out. To be completely honest, and that's not me downing Giants. That's me being completely honest. It is difficult to make a game engine and, and make something that a game can run in. The second is that Giants are so confident with this engine that they don't want to create a new one and. That's going to be Giant's downfall. Giants need to make a new engine. I need more information here. There we go. I don't have the aggro star turned on, so I actually had to go to full information with the glance. That's why I use glance, by the way. It's because I can see what I want to see. You can see there are two tractors there that I haven't used yet. The Sammy and the Stair. That's why I've got the uh, stall front loader. It works on both the New Holland and the Steyr, and I know some people um, aren't particularly impressed by me using the Steyr fr uh, the stall front loader on the New Holland. Let me just point out that the uh, front loader brackets on the New Holland are in fact black. So it does actually work with the New Holland in terms of colors and I know people are like uh, people do think that uh, what's the best place to go here 
just gonna hop out of this tractor because otherwise I'll try and land off the blinkers. Uh, this is barley, so the old grain mill. So the old grain mill is down there. Um, I will actually be showing something off in this video. Uh, other than what you hopefully can't hear, the neighbor's dog's barking again. Good lord, they have absolutely no control over those. This is a, a daily occurrence where the dogs just start barking for 20 minutes. And I am going to use the roads. Um, this isn't something that just kind of happens every so often. It is daily. Multiple times daily. Um, going going back to what I was originally talking about, Giants and the, the uh, engine. I'm not convinced about Farm Sim 17. I am completely unconvinced as of yet. Now, I will be getting Gold Edition in October, um, which... when's this coming out? Monday. Monday it will not be October yet. Possibly. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah. I'm recording this on Fridays. So, uh, it won't be October yet, but Gold Edition is apparently coming out at the end of October. And Giants announced that on... Bizarrely on Twitter and Facebook, which just struck me as the company trying to do social media but completely missing the point of social media's activity and or interactivity and giants have none um, but to be quite honest their community manager is shambolic at best um, he might he or she sorry I know community managers can be female as well um, they might you know interact with the German community but the English speaking community which I think is actually bigger because, <clears throat> you know, you've got America, uh, Britain, Ireland, and I would argue most of, well, at least part of Europe has at least some knowledge of English. And you can see that I uh, came up with an idea here to get, uh, dang it, to get the trailer in properly while I was harvesting. I would argue that most players of Farmson have a grasp of English might not be the best grasp and they might need Google Translate but you know the ability is there for everybody to speak English and probably at the moment the biggest size community is English speaking or the biggest proportion in terms of languages so giants really are dropping the ball big time seriously big time do I have stuff in storage? I do. Apparently I've got 26 bales. So, yeah, I'm thoroughly unconvinced by Giants as a company. Now, by FS17 as a game, I'll, look at, I'll follow the development stuff that Giants eventually tell us. But, I don't know. If it looks like they've actually improved on the game and put new stuff in, other than Hey, look, we've got more forestry stuff! Well, that's great, but it's not forestry simulator, is it? It's, it's farming simulator, and Giants, you really dropped the ball on the farming side of the game. Uh, Bale physics is just getting progressively worse again. <sighs> it was so promising. <laughs> um, one thing the Giants really need to look at is their own attacher script, because that is terrible. That's like that is my biggest complaint about the game is Giants attacher scripts are terrible for bales and stuff because that's probably about half of the issue with bales. Uh, the other half is they've started to dance again in general, and the round bales are too rolly. Um, I'd love to see Giants, and they did start on this path with 15, so I'm hoping they continue on it for 17. Uh, giants go down the stable agri-sim route. Um, I'm not saying Giants should produce a UAG game, I'm saying they should produce a stable game that has the realistic functionings that agri-sim at least tried for. And agri-sim did try. It failed spectacularly, but it tried. You're probably wondering what on earth I'm going to be doing for the rest of this video. 
and I'm wondering the same now. Uh, I didn't think this through. Uh, isn't it great to have me back doing farm sim where I kind of half decide on something to do and then forget that it only takes about five minutes or ten minutes and I'm left with half a video to do something. I have no idea what it's going to be. Uh, um, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I've just decided. I'm going to go to the crop storage because I actually, uh, I was told in episode one where the crop storage was and I did check off camera because it's actually near some tractors. And I'll show you in a moment. And that was the other thing I was going to show off is where the crop storage actually is on this map. Um, I'm going to do some plugs very quickly while I'm, I'm doing this. Uh, if you didn't watch the Mod Spotlight last week, or over the weekend, I thoroughly recommend watching it, because there I actually found nothing but good mods. Uh, I went on to FSUK and just kind of picked a few mods that looked interesting. There are a few more that I want to look at there, because I completely forgot about them. Um, so you might get another FSUK Mod Spotlight next week. Um, Right, now I need to actually tab over to the other tractors. Where on earth are these guys? So, it's up the main road. Wonderful. Beautiful. Uh, the crop storage, by the way, is down there in those sheds. Which means I might need to bring the new one down as well. Uh, so, yeah. Uh... What else did I do? Uh, the map spotlight was Samara Volga, which I was completely shocked and amazed to see Dirt Hebbers. Um, this was like a day or two after I'd recorded the spotlight, so I didn't record it just because he'd, he'd started a new Let's Play on the map. He actually is playing Samara Volga now on his channel, which just... I was... I know that sometimes I do the same mods that he does, like, a couple of weeks before him, or maybe even the same week. But it is a really bizarre coincidence to be recommended the Samara Volga map to look at by, um, John Turner, and then have Dirt Hebbers start a new Let's Play on the Samara Volga map. Um, that's a map you definitely should have a look at, uh, the map, the, the spotlight anyway, you should look at it if it doesn't strike you as being for you. Yeah, that's your choice. It, it, it's a map that I might return to at some point, um, possibly casually, just some casual play, uh, but it is a map that I'll most likely be returning to. So, up here, the cows, a bit of beef and pigs are up there on that farm, but down here is what I'm interested in. It is quite a tight map. Of course, being Irish, things that don't go. It sees there that pickup is not usable, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to go up and get the new home, don't I? Uh, there is one thing that I want you guys to tell me: where on earth are potato and sugar beets stored, or if there is even storage? Um, I'm not gonna run up the entire length of the map. I'm not gonna do nothing on this. I'm gonna. Hop in cab and bring the new Holland down. So, uh, um, yeah, Samara Volga, really good map. I recommend the spotlight I did on it. And what else happened on the channel recently? Um, there was Nustin, which everybody, everybody's saying on the, on the Nustin video, oh my god, you have such patience. You have the patience of a saint. I really don't. Um, I was watching, like, for the uh, Rock and the Harvest video, I was actually watching a live stream or something or other, or, I think, or, like, watching YouTube videos. Uh, no, I had a live stream on, because otherwise I would have run out of video to watch. And that's how I did that harvest. That's why there was no in-game sounds in the, the uh, Thursday video last week. I was bored, I was watching a live stream, I was hoping it would finish soon. And that's... All, all I'm going to say is things are going to get more interesting when I start on sugar beets on Nustin. Okay? 
Um, <laughs> things are really gonna get more interesting and you're gonna be probably asking yourself the same questions as to why is he so insane. Um, because that sugar beet harvester I have isn't big. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, there was... Yes. Project Cars! I finally put up a video of Project Cars, and it was me in a Mercedes DTM car, which I do enjoy the DTM. I don't watch it all that much, but I do like the, uh, the style of cars in it, the saloons. They are essentially GT cars under a different name. Uh, they're not particularly touring cars. Uh, but, yeah. That is... That was fun. It's a lot of spinning and a lot of... A lot of mistakes, but it was really fun to record. Let's sell off the canola. Because that makes sense to me. What's the best price for canola? Canola, the old oh, the old grain mill has everything. It doesn't look like there's actually BGA on this map. I say it doesn't look like it because uh, my multi overlay HUD thing is not giving me a BGA readout, and normally it does. Um, but yeah, Project Cars was really fun. I made a setup for. Uh, I didn't do it in the video, but I made a setup for the German DTM car that. I think if I was actually good at sim racing, I would be really good with that setup. And there's a lot of potential in that setup for me to learn. Uh, but for my current skill level, it just ended up being me spinning quite a lot and figuring out about, <laughs> about 20 minutes in that half the problems I had was because I cooled the brakes too much or because I hadn't worn them up enough on the little run up to, uh, to starting a lap that I got. Um, that was fun. That was supposed to be me trying to beat the uh, quote unquote world record for that car track combination, which I did hold, um, but some Germans arrived and, and ruined my fun. But I am still like top five in the world for that car track combination. I think I'm actually in third, I want to say. I'll have to go on Project Cars later on and find out. But yeah, um... That was... that was fun. I like sim racing. I like... Simulator... I think it's pretty obvious from, like, my channel that I love simulator games. But... Sim racing is, is just... So very fun. Um, I actually bought two new games over the weekend as a, a pack. And at least one of them will probably show up on the channel. Um, game. What's it called on Steam? Stock Car Extreme. But everybody calls it Game Stock Car Extreme. Um, it is a game based on the Brazilian. I'm not kidding here. The Brazilian Stock Car Championships. Is that all the canola? Yes. This is no longer showing up. Yeah, Brazilian stock cars. Um, sounds odd, but... Let me try and explain. If you are into sim racing at all, you'll have heard of Or Factor. Or Factor, sorry, I kind of went quiet there. Um, that is kind of the gold standard for modern sim racing. It's an old game, but it's... It's the gold standard for modernish sim racing. And Risa Studios, the guys who created Game Stock Car, I'm gonna say. Um, Game Stock Car is bizarre. They bought the rights to the R Factor engine. So, in essence, Game Stock Car is an R Factor mod. Uh, payware R Factor mod. However, 
it has its own modding community, which also creates artifact commands, oddly enough. Um, but some of the, the, the vehicles in GameStop are amazing. Oh, they don't have the rights to a lot of vehicles, so there's very generic names like Formula Retro for 1975-76 F1 cars, Formula Classic for the late 80s, uh, I think it's 1988 Formula 1 cars, which of course I drove the McLaren from 1988, I am an Ayrton Senna fan. A good lord does that thing go. V6 Turbo, whoa, so much better than modern F1. You've got Formula Reza, which is 20... 2008 or 2009 uh, Formula 1, maybe 2011, 2012, possibly, and Formula Extreme. Now, Formula Extreme or Formula Reza is... It's one of the two is like 2014 F1, which is... eh, it's alright, it's not as good as Formula Classic. Nothing beats the mid 80s in Formula 1 in terms of just the, the feel of power. I mean, those things with full boost, which that is never advised to do. <laughs> I've done it in uh, P cars with uh, the Lotus 98T, which I'm probably going to play with on Friday. Um, I've done full boost, which is 6 bar uh, of boost, or 6 atmospheres of boost. Imagine compressing the atmosphere six times and putting that through the engine. <laughs> um, all I'm going to say is, number one, it wrecks the engine completely because you're never supposed to run full boost on those things. And number two, it is like a rocket ship. That thing... It's like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth gear and we're gone. There's actually... Oh no, there is no sixth gear, so you have to like make the gear super long so that you can actually get top speed. And it's comical. It is comically powerful. And I can kind of drive it. Um, I think I've got enough to do what I wanted to. Let's have a check. Uh, let's check what we have first of all. We... Yeah, we don't have the thing that I want. I'm actually going to get rid of this. Because it is essentially pointless on this map. It's The map is too hilly for that. And what I'm going to do is 11, 8, and 42, 4. That is very, very expensive. So 13, 5, and 8, 3 plus. Well, if we go 8, 3 plus 10, 3 is 18,600. I'm going to have to use a tiny tether, aren't I? So let's get this. And this. And just to punish myself, because this wind drawer is tiny, that. <sighs> so I'm going to leave it here for today. Well, not for me, for you guys for today. I'll be back on Wednesday when we will be mowing and heading. Well, definitely mowing, possibly tedding, and if I get really, really, really lucky, wind drawing as well. Uh, we're going to do field 16, I think, because that looks to be a decent size. Because um, I want to get some hay bales going, and we... I just need... That's why I was trying to get money together, is I want to get some hay bales going. So that I have the option of starting off with the pigs of beef. Uh, because the oh beef probably it's five fifty to sell it and to buy the beef it's two fifty so they're making three hundred profit per cow but they do regenerate yeah I'm probably gonna start off on beef next time I've no idea making silage quite yet so that's going to be interesting but uh, actually if I I'm going to actually move all the stuff for, like, baling and stuff up to uh, where the pigs and beef actually are, so it's a bit easier for me to, to move things around. Uh, I'm also going to probably off-screen bale up field 18, move the straw bales up there as well, because that's going to be an exercise in patience. Is there a biosphere energy on this map? 
Oh, oh green milk. Biosphere energy. So there must be... There must be some sort of cell point in the town then for... for um, like grass and straw and hay and stuff. So anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Um, when I come back on Wednesday, like I said, I'll have everything set up. Uh, up by the pigs and beef to get some hay together. Uh, until then, stay safe and goodbye.